Hello, everybody. Hello, all of my fellow. I love to open toys and play with them or take photos of them because it's a serious hobby. It really is. It really is. Uh, welcome back to Imagination to Scene, or ITS as I like to call it. So today, I found something on the shelf. And I thought, oh, I want to open that because I'm starting to think of a scene. It's been a while, but I have a scene. So here we go. Today, we are going to open up The Marine Biologist. Ta-da! Um, it actually says on the back of the package, ooh, that was a scrape. Marine Biologist. Ta-da! I, I have my own sound effects. Ta-da! Um, so what do we get in this particular package? Well, let's take a look. We are going to get, oh, hopefully no glare. We get the doll. And this today is the blonde Barbie doll. It is Barbie. We are also going to get, not like, I'm like looking at the back trying to explain it to you. Okay. So we are also going to be getting a, a net, shell, the underwater camera, the snorkeling mask, a starfish, flippers, a tank with coral and a little fish in it. Uh, I think that's supposed to be a baby dolphin, like real baby dolphin, but I'm going to say it's a stuffed baby dolphin plushie um, and a suitcase. And of course, our lovely doll who has what looks like a clipboard under her arm and of course her life jacket or life vest. If you look at the back of the packaging, oh, I see stickers. Mm. Um, <laughs> I'm okay with it. I'm, are those stickers? Is it just, I don't know. We'll find out. We'll find out when we open it. But if you look at the back, the case itself acts as storage for all of the playthings, which you know how I love when it comes with built-in storage because it's so much easier, well, to store it, much like the vanity table was. But if you look very closely, you're going to see that everything is stored in here. Now, what does it mean by 200? Oh, she has had now 200 plus careers. Has she been a marine biologist before? I know Ken is a marine biologist. Or he is in one of the animated series. Hmm, I always thought Barbie was too. Maybe this is new for her. But anyway, that doesn't matter. Let's open it. Ta -da -da. Okay, so how easy is it to open this one? Do I need tools? Or can my bare hands work? Uh, uh, bare hands, bare hands. Oh, what a great background, though. It looks like she's underwater. Can I save the background? Oh, no. It's already ripping on this side. Eh, pretty much easy open, though. Okay. There she is. All of her unplastic glory. Yep. Did I miss anything? Oh, a microscope. Microscope. Okay, let's keep opening. Do I need scissors yet? Uh, no, but I've completely ruined the backdrop. Or the backing. So, eh. Come on. Come on. There we go. Oh, 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 yeah. I'm not keeping that. That's unfortunate. Are these stickers? Please don't be stickers. Oh, they are stickers. We have stickers with, it looks like some seaweed fauna. Fauna? Seaweed, floral, floor. What, what is that word? Oh, some coral, not sure. I actually don't know anything about the underwater plants. So some plantage for underwater Fish, shells, bubbles, starfish, the clownfish, a lot of Finding Nemo references. We'll put that down. The next part is going to be, can I do this standing up and away from me? Let's see. What are you cut on? Oh, need scissors after all. Does that free it? That's a carry-on. 
Oh, sorry. Okay, so there's the case. Oh, that's some heavy duty plastic there. And then this is okay, you can't get the mask off without ripping the backing. Here's a great shot of the back while I do this. There, that's free. And oh, this is such a cool backdrop. I like the underwater and the little purple diver right here. Oh, maybe I can do something to save it. I know she's gorgeous, huh? Hello, honey. How can I help you? You're only curious when I'm doing something fun. You never come to check out when I'm doing my taxes. And one more. It, ah, I know it's not bomb removal or trying to defuse a bomb, but oh, the tension of thinking you're going to cut her hair. So... Yeah, I had to beat up the backdrop a little bit. Oh, but this is such a cool... Maybe I can save it. Maybe there's some things I can do. We'll try to save that. I really do like it. That's on the ground. You could go play with it. All right, so let's go back to our doll. She has the painted on bathing suit. She... The, wow, there's a lot of... Rubber bands right there. Yep, this is a clipboard. All right, Cone, what do you think? Yeah, you like that too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, honey. Hello, kitten. Hello. Oh, it's the hair, huh? Hello. So, thanks, Cone. Oh, I like the fact that her hair has already got a rubber band in it because it was going to stay that way. <laughs> One moment. Cat love. Go play over there. What were we talking about? Oh, yes. The doll. So, can she stand on her own? So, I do like the doll. She has the painted on bathing, bathing suit. Um, this jacket can come off. I don't think it's supposed to be the life jacket. I think it's just an over the bathing suit, um, like jacket, cover up. Oh, that's very cute. Her actual bathing suit has got dolphins on it, painted on it. Ooh, deep back. And then her hair is already in a rubber band, which is what I would do anyway. At least they have a little bit of color there that matches her bathing suit. She's barefooted with flat feet. Okay, so let's see what did we get with her. We have what looks like a clipboard. It's got the handle in the back. Right here where you can put her hand through it. Can I borrow your hand just for a moment? Thank you. Her hand is supposed to slip right through there so she can be holding it. Fingers together. Fingers together. It's not the best fit. Okay, how about around your thumb? I now understand why they had so much plastic on it and connecting it to her because you're gonna need a little bit, if not a lot. Anyway, it's purple, it's kind of see-through. I thank you for your hand. Um, the stickers, I believe you can just randomly put them around your case, like one of the travel dolls that came out. I believe their suitcases had uh, stickers that you could decorate their suitcases with, which I think this is just along the same lines. This handle does not go up and down. It's permanently up. Let's take it open. Other than that, the wheels are not real wheels, but it does stand. It's a good band. We'll keep it. So let's open it up. So there's the inside, just like on the package. It's going to have are those hooks. So right here at the top, these two, they look like they're hooks. Do we have anything that hangs? Oh, the net will hang. 
Anything else? What's the back of the package say? How did they have it placed? Oh, okay. So according to the back of the package, the net came off of it and the scuba mask can hang off of it. And this spot right here, which is, you guys can see it, it's kind of open. So you can slide something behind this pink part right here. This is where the flippers are gonna go. The baby dolphin is nowhere, the baby stuffed dolphin is not in the case. So I don't think it's supposed to hold it, but the shelf is for the camera. This top shelf is supposed to hold If we can get the rest of the plastic off of here. There we go. Oh, oh, mmm. The plastic is suspending the fish and all that inside the tank. Oh, which is really neat. I did not notice that. But the tank, even though it's clear, it still has um, embossed plastic bubbles and like seaweed. And there's a couple of embossed clear fish on here. So the tank is not just a piece of plastic. It's actually got some detailing on the larger, larger sizes. There's some just bubbles on it and some more of seaweed. I don't, I, mm. you know, because they had that suspended really well, it made it look like the fish was swimming. So I think I would actually keep. I don't know if I need all of it, but I think I would actually keep the plastic just like that so it does look like the fish is actually swimming in his tank. I might take the coral out because according to this picture on the back, they've got the coral sitting on top of the case like a table. And then the tank itself is sitting inside here. And the fish looks like it's suspended. No, the fish is just, it's just sitting on the bottom. But I like swimming aspect I wonder if I can keep can we get it in here without having to do anything yeah you're gonna have to middle oh nope nope oh, yep yay oh oh well that was easy the top comes off that tabletop flips right open well if I had known that but then again that's why we open it okay so this piece of plastic in the back right here has to go And you probably have to, you know what, let's just trim all the plastic that's sticking up. And I am not cutting this with you there. My goodness gracious, what is wrong? Okay, we're safe to cut. Quick, cut quickly before he comes back. Amazing, I have black cat hair in my fish tank now. Okay, let's get this in here and close the top and I still have a little bit of plastic sticking out on both sides, but I'll fix that later. But anyway, there we go. Fish tank with swimming fish. You really cannot see that, but that's okay. The idea is there. Use the imagination. So what else did we get? Let's put this aside next to her. We will hang like they did in the photo on the back of the package, the mask. Okay, there we go. So what do we have? We have, like I said, the dolphin, the microscope, a uh, scoopy fishnet, her uh, flippers. Maybe that's why her feet are small, because they are very small feet, is to get the flippers on. Hmm. It's a thought. Shell and starfish and the camera, and I do not know why you are so, it's just because of fish, huh? I keep saying fish, and it's the, the aqua. I didn't do, I, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> so, let's take a look. Let's pop these open. Uh, this is going to be difficult. These ones are like molded in here. I don't even think it's worth using scissors on it at this point. It just kind of loosens the plastic up a little bit. 
But you should be able to pull these out. You should technically be able to pull all of this out with much diff without much difficulty. Unfortunately, I'm having problems. Let me have that. Give me that. Give me the plastic. Thank you. Oh, that was easy. Oh, okay. So you just have to find a piece that's kind of sticking out and manipulate it out. Got it. Haha, <laughs> I'm on to you now. And our dolphin. Ah, go away. Oh, that's part of the cardboard. Okay. So. The stickers, I'm probably just gonna, just, just, uh, I'm a, I, yeah, I'm just gonna put them right here. Just kind of in there. Everything we have, we have a microscope. It is one color. It almost looks like a, Oh, no, that's that's a real microscope. You look at it. You look at it this way with the dial here so you can reach your hand around and change the settings and adjust the microscope in front of it. Oops, down you go. We have the fish scooper net. Scoop, scoop. Scoop, scoop. Scoop, scoop. The underwater camera. Our baby dolphin, which has a funny little curve to him. He is, if you're holding his nose straight on, so straight in front of you, his tail curls. It's towards the left. He's kind of rotating like he's swimming to the left like this. Woo! Woo! Okay. Ah. <sighs> It's all for science. So now let's try her flippers on her. It's what I thought. So they are small feet to fit the flippers. So I, will she stand with the flippers on though? That's a good question. Oh, she stands with the flippers. That is cool. Okay. Okay. Well, I, to be very honest, I don't know. Hold on, I'm thinking this through. Hmm. I just don't, maybe she's getting off of something and getting ready to dive into the water and that's when you're taking photos of her. Other than that, you're gonna have to use a stand because she's not gonna walk around in flippers, is she? Hmm. But with the flippers on, she stands. So that's a good thing to know. So now let's put everything in the case. Oop. Just in case you get cold. So those are supposed to slip right in there to be kept. Hang the mask. Oh, 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 before we hang the mask up, let's see how does that fit. It does have a release in the back that's got the, uh, how do you best explain that? It's got kind of like raised nubs and this feeds like a belt where you have, oh, I don't even know how to explain it. You have the flat surface and then raised a little bit is a, a single bar and the nub is supposed to catch on that bar, kind of wedge itself in. And that's the best explanation I have on how, to, how that closes. But let's put this on her. Well, I'm going to have to undo that. I'm sorry. Okay, so here we go. Here's the glasses. That's supposed to go over your face like that. Hold that thought. So let's try her mask on her. Okay, so ideally, I know how it's supposed to fit on, but I think we're going to have to put it attach it to her and then adjust it with this crazy oh there we go okay how bad is it oh we got to narrow eyes okay 
Is it even close? Yeah. Okay. We got the scuba mask on. True. Um, it is connected to the back of her head. It's as loose as it possibly can get without actually falling off and being connected. Oh, your jacket is. You know what? Let's make it cool. There we go. All right. So she's ready. The mask does fit her well. It's very snug. I wouldn't, I don't know if you could use it on a Ken. Do I have a volunteer? Volunteer? Anyone? 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 Where are you? There you are. Okay, let's see if it'll fit on Tucker. Simply because Tucker's got the mohawk kind of flare, so he's got a lot of detail on the back of his head. So if it, oh, so sorry, Tuck. Your feet are weird. Let's see if we can get it on him. Let's see if we can use it on both dolls. Um, okay, first of all, can we even get it around your head with that hairstyle? I don't know. So you guys mm -hmm. can share in this struggle. Hmm. I don't know if all of them have it, but mine has this little curl at the end, which makes it very hard to lead it through the closure. There we go. You have to kind of force it, we'll bring it up around his head and then adjust. Uh, it looks like you could use this on the other dolls also. All right, with a little bit of manipulation, it's not the best fit, but it can work on the Ken doll too. So that's good to know. So if I want to use it for other things, for other scenes, I can use it. Sorry, it's Frito. He's very active today. Um, if I want to do, if I do want to use it for other scenes with other dolls, you can use the scuba mask. I, I'm not even going to try the flippers. I know that they're not going to work on his feet. She's got, we're talking almost, not even Skipper, probably Stacy or Chelsea size feet. These are small, small feet. So, and he's got regular Ken feet. So I know that the flippers aren't going to work here, but the mask does, which is good because that will give me, it'll give me some options for future seats. That's good to know. Okay. Thanks, Tuck. Thanks for stopping by. So now that we've done that, the fitting test, let's put this here. Stand, please. Okay, we're going to hang the mask in. I guess just they are hooks, but they're not deep hooks that I can tell. Get in there. Okay, there. Uh, what else hangs here? The net. Yep, that fits very snugly there. And then on the shelf, we have the camera here on this shelf. Kind of falls all the way back. That's pretty far back. And then our starfish, our shell. I think our microscope will fit on this shelf also. It will. Clipboard can go on this bottom shelf, just kind of on top of it. Okay, so this should close, giving the flippers plenty of room to close down and down and... Hmm. Honestly, it might be because of this plastic I still have attached. I hope not. I know the top isn't closing because of the plastic, but darn. Well, everything just fell apart inside. I'm going to be honest with you. It comes with it comes with a giant rubber band was part of it. I would keep that band, that rubber band, and just use it to close the the, the suitcase or the case. 
because it's not closing all the way, but it might just be the way that I have it packed. So I'll play with it some more off camera. And that is our marine biologist. Ta-da! With her case, her travel case, and her, her I'm going to say, plushy companion. And away she goes. Yeah. <laughs> A little bit of manipulation there, but you, I think you got the idea. So that's our marine biologist play set. I'm hoping I can save this backboard because it's really cool, but I believe she is missing something. She's missing something important. And I think I have an idea of what it is. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Oh, oh, wave. The dolls always have to wave too. Bye! Oh, wow. That's